hey guys welcome back to the channel for another flipping banger so today i'm going to be talking about palantir again so while i was scrolling on the internet i found that 102 million shares of palantir are being shorted right now the uh, palantir had a previous short volume of 90 uh, at least 91 million almost like 91 yeah, million shares. Um, and for this month, it's had an increase of 11.79% in terms of um, short volume. So when translated into like a dollar value, this would be $1.86 billion being shorted. Now, when I look at this um, SN, uh, Seeking Alpha report, or at least article, this is almost three times the daily average on a stock that once rallied 176 percent and my thing is i actually agree with this article sentiment when they say that palantir shorts are playing a dangerous game because this could end up triggering a short squeeze and this is why palantir is not like a penny stock okay it's it's not one of those stocks that has terrible debt or at least more more debt than they make money it's not like they don't have any cash flow palantir had great earnings they have great cash flow they have minimal debt and their revenue growth in the past couple of years has been outstanding so i'm like this could trigger a wall street bets kind of thing where people start to um buy back the stock and when this happens this is going to make the stock go higher now i don't know what you guys think i think honestly that this the probability of this happening is probably like 50 percent although the only reason maybe that this could um not happen would be that if that inflation thing that i was talking about in my other video like there's a lot of fears around investing right now anyways so if people are scared to invest because they're scared of losing their money then um, would like uh, an announcement really trigger a short squeeze like I'm not sure about that aspect of things but y'all let me know what you think down below in the comment section but at the time of me making this video Pantera is trading at 1460 which is a lot a lot a lot lower than it was trading just a couple months ago um, I'm quite glad actually that um, it has dropped to 1460 because i can at least pick up some more shares if you guys watch my other video um i made that video a couple days ago it's just you know editing takes me forever um and what i said a couple days ago was i was not gonna buy at 16 i was gonna wait to see where the price action goes and i'm quite glad that i didn't buy at that point in time because sometimes even when you know the right thing to do you get like fomo which if you don't know what that means, it's like if you're missing out, then you end up pulling the trigger or making a purchase that just waiting a little bit longer could have got you more shares. So um, Palantir just in the last 52 weeks had a high of $45. And right now it's at a low of 14. And yeah, so um, you guys can let me know. Um, but it is very possible that Palantir could drop to lows of under ten dollars i'm not sure how plausible that is but i guess experts can let me know on that note don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye